Imagine having to wake up to a walking routine every day. This is the story of men and women from the slums who are in a constant chase to put food on the table. It's an early morning in Nairobi and everything is brightening up. For some though, it marks the start of yet another struggle. As they take on the challenge of walking through various residential estates and commercial areas. Towards either the industrial area or the leafy suburbs, the places from which they derive their sustenance. But many of them have no indication of exactly what work they will engage in today. It's just the latest 24-hour episode of Survival. To many a man or woman who resides in the city slums, it's time to step out and face the day. 25-year-old Vincent Ocheng lives in the Madara slums. He is running a bit late today because of our visit, but for the last five years he has been on the move. On this day, he's headed to Buruburu. He resides in this single small room in Madara's Muradi area. Mimi wamka five. Kama for that, kama kuna kazi nendambali. Soon he's ready for his journey, which begins here. Today's tools of work at hand. He tells me walking is normal for him, a part of life. Vincent Ocheng is one among many living this kind of lifestyle. They literally are the steps towards putting food on the table. His lucky day will see him work under instructions at this construction site. For these house cleaners, it's a hunt for treasures hidden deep in Nairobi's leafy suburbs of Westlands, Harlingham and others. To reach here, they walk from Kibera, Kawangware and others from Kangemi. They have made different spots in this leafy suburb they are waiting area. The narration paints a picture of despair. Yaani unaweza kuja ukae, ukose ama upate. Sasa si kazi ambayo unatoka kwa nyumba kama uko na imani naenda kufanya kazi hapana. Trying to work for some income for them comes with camping for many hours in hope that a window will roll down. The beginning of a successful day. Kibati kaonaenda ni kasi yenye tunafanya ni kufua nguo, kufanya nyumba cleaning na kupiga pasi. Kenya's urban slums are expanding at a rapid rate, attracting desperate crowds. Getting a job remains a challenge and it takes creativity and initiative to cope with life. These two painters from Mukuru Kwajenga slums have set up base at Cabanas. They are ready for a painting or a drawing job depending on what comes their way. Sisi wanga tunaka hapa, yule akona hile kazi ya kupakarangi ama kazi ya kuchora na kuja kutuchukua hapa. Like any other job, they have their successful and dry days in equal measure. Tunazapata kitu kama mianani, tukumbaya sa ingini hata tunapata hata so mbili, so moja, sa ingini tunaenda nyumbani mbira. Living in slums requires a committed mind to working, especially to avoid engaging in crime, an option chosen by many young people. He is locally known as Chomelea. That translates to the repair man who deals with plastic containers. Kwanza nikianza ya subuhi na nzianga hapa hapa kwa gu, kwa janga, na panda, na pita pipeline, na ingia mbaka moradi, mbakasi, na piga round tena, na kuja kutokia andoni, lunga lunga, sasa na ingia na pumuzika. Mandiu, he is an artist. Maisha ni ngumu inambiti mba, ngoma zenye ni metunga hata sinu wakati wa kusirekodi manake pesa ya kurekodi ya ku. Asa na jaribu kuhasul na hicho melea niwene kama itafikia wakati. 
The transition from the chains of hardship is evident, taking a step closer to what many slum dwellers believe would change with time. Matatikia yanga kila siku ndiyo nasema, mungu wa nifungulia nipate kazi nisikaya hapa. Two slum dwellers tell me varying stories of their lives. One is an accountant, the other specializes in house cleaning. Working for hours every day is the only thing that makes them equal. I The pay I get uh, does not allow me, so budget has to be trimmed. That's why I decide to do the work. Survival tactics are required regardless of education levels. A controversial VAT bill now before a parliamentary committee seeks to waive tax exemptions on more than 400 basic commodities. Although members of parliament agreed in principle to retain the exemptions on bread and maize flour, the widespread calls for other essential items to be spared the tax are allowed. To these slum dwellers, it's an outcry. Iyo nae wakiongeza watakuwa metuumiza sana kwa zenye, kazi ni ngumu, hatu nafanya kazi na kosa lunch, na iyo breakfast unasikia tu. Jacqueline Mogo, Executive Director of Federation of Kenya Employers, thinks that the government should instead focus on labor productivity, and that will translate to improved living standards. So you cannot have wages chasing inflation, that's what we've always said. The answer lies in containing the prices of our basic commodities. What if the VAT bill becomes low? Will that call for a review of labor laws? So we have to think. If we overtax, we overregulate, and already there are indications that this cost will be passed on to the consumer, obviously that's what employers have to do. At least for now, these slum dwellers have not turned to illegal ways of making money. Sick crime or prostitution. They have literally put a foot forward. Walking for long distances that consume more than five hours a day is now a lifestyle in the fight for survival. For JSO at 7, I'm Sam Gakuni.